每个人都是他那个时代的产物。I think at the environment and time we live in has like a big impact on how we artists. 艺术家必须关注他的时代，他背后强大的日本的力量。Going to different places, different environments. I'm a part of my heart. I wanted to create something out of local materials that was then given over to the place that is not a controlled space but rather a space where all these kind of birds, plants, insects and humans can sort of all go and share a space without any of them owning that space. My name is Petr Yüksel and I guess in my mid-twenties I decided to become an artist where I did my master's in fine art at Goldsmiths College and I've lived in London since then. So here at Xiaolong I was interested in, in really thinking about cohabitation in the built environment and thinking about how we share space and by sharing space we also make space. So I suppose the um, general idea is a very simple idea that architecture is something that humans do for humans and that's what really separates us, us from nature, this idea that the built environment is the ultimate artificial environment. Then when you start thinking about how every building and every building material is dependent on a whole network of other, other organisms, you start to realise that building is not this kind of separate Thing, rather it is ecologically embedded. You have all these other creatures, plants and so on, moving in or starting to alter it in different ways. I guess that was something I wanted to really forefront, thinking of them accidents to architecture, as sort of something that comes and contaminates architecture, instead thinking of that as being part of the built environment and that the built environment is something we create together. One of the main concepts or ideas about the bamboo is that it represents this kind of organic material and potentially sustainable architecture. And then the other big material that I've used a lot of in the structure is obviously concrete. So to me, they kind of represent kind of two different parts of a built environment. I had like a camera up on my studio roof, taking night pictures of the ferret badgers and squirrels and rats that also live here. But then in the end, I decided that, that focusing on the birds sort of gave a nice, it kind of covered the whole spectrum of these kind of different groups of species. It has sort of hints at all these kind of themes. And into that comes the concept of hospitality this idea of being hospitable, of inviting someone into your home. There's a sort of basic sort of contradiction within that concept, which is on the one hand, to be able to invite someone, you have to be a master of the place. So you're the host and you're inviting, and that means that you invite someone on your conditions. On the other hand, the very idea of hospitality, of pure hospitality, is this complete sharing of like the complete stranger being invited into your home to share whatever you have. So I wanted to make a space that really questioned or, or that sort of like tried to eschew that power relation with the host and the guests and instead of thinking of everyone that's sharing a space as hosts and guests at the same time. It then becomes more about letting others share your environment or share your company. I guess those were the things that then led me towards this structure that I built that's called Hotel Sinos. And then there's also references to the cityscape in terms of how it looks, but also for, to a sort of organic growing that is all kind of quite chaotic and different size bamboo sections that are just sort of like growing out from the center. And there are also many sort of visual reference points there. There's the idea of the insect hotel. And I 
the idea of enlarging this little things that people put in their gardens for the insects to live to make be this big structure that could host any number of different creatures.